Keeping warm in a cold camp is a moment-by-moment -moment process. One of the things we can do to help is organize our gear in our tents to make heat retention a little easier. Hello, I'm Jason. Camping in the deep cold brings a host of challenges. Of course, staying warm is the most obvious, but some of the little things we can do to keep warm aren't always as obvious. For instance, how we organize gear in our tents can make a big difference. An old climbing mentor used to tell me, you don't get warm in camp, you stay warm in camp. When we are moving, we are generating body heat. When we are more static in camp, we need to do everything we can to retain what body heat we have. In its simplest terms, we lose heat every time we touch something cold, and we lose heat from the cold air moving across our bodies. Just about everything we come into contact with, or any new cold air we allow into the microenvironments of our insulation layers and sleeping bags, are opportunities to lose a little heat. Those little moments of heat loss add up, so we should try to minimize them. We can help reduce heat loss by using some gear as extra insulation in our tents and placing other gear in specific locations. Each climber or winter camper will organize their gear in their tent in their own way, but I thought I'd go through what I typically do and share some of my rationale. Obviously, the most impactful component of this setup is my sleep system. I did an entirely separate video on this if you want to take a look for the link in the description, so I'll skip the specifics today. But now, I also want to keep myself off of the tent walls. I typically empty my backpack and use it behind my head. If I'm carrying a rope, I will almost always put it at my head as well. This raises my head a bit, and that leads to a better night's sleep at high altitude, and is why I also use a pillow. It all helps combat chain stokes apnea, and there's another link for a video that goes deep into that topic. I'm not done, though. I can line what little space is between my sleeping pad and the wall with additional clothing that I'm not wearing. I'm trying to keep myself off of the sidewall of the tent as well. Next, I'm thinking about those supplies I want to keep warm. A water bottle with boiled water makes a furnace that I add to the bottom of my sleeping bag or quilt every night. Either in the bottom of my bag as well or in my pockets, I'm keeping anything with water content. This includes tomorrow's snacks. Then I also have items that need to be dried out, like the socks I wore today, and stuff I want to wear tomorrow. So, another pair of socks, or any other changes of clothing, and the next morning's fuel. These items also include things with batteries, like my headlamp and phone, but I try to keep those in pockets on my body so that I don't have to go fishing for them if I need them. Now I'm thinking about what gear and supplies I have that are a little less cold-sensitive. The stuff I need to get at most frequently, either during the night or first thing in the morning as I prepare to get ready to go, is placed nearest my head. If my tent has side pockets, I'll place the stuff in there. Otherwise, it's just placed between me and the tent wall. I want to have the stuff I use most frequently within easy reach so that I don't have to sit up or get a full arm out of my quilt, as both can lead to drafts that sap heat from my sleep insulation. For me, that includes things like my glasses, which I need to put on before I do much of anything else, earplugs, medications, and the like. Moving away towards the bottom of the tent are things that really are only any good to me if I am either getting away from my sleeping bag or leaving the tent altogether. For those things, I don't care as much about creating drafts because I'm getting fully out of the bag anyways. So that includes a pee bottle and my toilet paper. Finally, I like to keep metal which is cold to the touch, and things with sharp edges that could damage my tent outside of the tent. Obviously, I don't need any of that in the tent anyway, so the gear is just there waiting for me when it's time to move. Everyone is going to have their own preferences on where to put items in their tent, but I think organizing my tent setup pretty much the same way every time allows me to easily get at my things in the dark and minimize exposure to the cold, helping me stay warm, rather than get warm. Do you have any particular places for your things in your tent? Let us know about one in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. You can check out a video we did with more cold weather camping tips, or check out our entire series called Cold. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.